Hello Kerbalot and welcome to the tutorial for building a base on your asteroid. Kerbal's Natural Habitat Modules. Yes, in the last four of this series of tutorials, we added solar panels, we added control thrusters to it, the asteroid, and we also added a mining rig. Well, about that mining rig, it's causing us lag in this game, so we're going to have to detach it and get rid of it. Never mind, we will continue with this and add some modules for our habitat, for our Kerbals. Okay, once we get rid of this, we'll go into the VAB, start building a habitat module where we can house our Kerbals in, and I will show you some neat building tricks in which we can build a, continue building a base, adding to it and put around the asteroid. So let's get to it. First thing we need is some kind of docking module. I plan to add a four port docking module, but not with the small docking ports, with the large docking ports. And the trick I found is attach a small mo small tank underneath a coupler module, Arger, add a larger tank, empty the fuel left because you do not need the fuel. Use the rotate tools, make sure it's at 90 degrees. It helps because once you rotate that, Make sure your snap angle is on as well. It also helps to set that to 90 degrees. And then use the offset tool to put it center, like such. Now what you want to do is add another tank. You can copy this tank since it's empty. Attach it to the side. Just make sure you don't cover the ports because you need to add the docking ports on the side. And once you've done that, you've got your full docking port base module. So now you have to go and find the docking port. Now attach them to the sides as such. And I think you can see what I'm doing here. If we can get these to attach. There we have our home made docking port for the large docking modules. Okay. So now that we need to attach the claw, because we need to attach this to the asteroid. Now we had a tank in there, so I added a few tank fuselage and the claw underneath that. Bam. So that will attach straight to the asteroid and we can dock anything to the side of it there. And also don't forget to strut everything up. As these tanks are only attached to the side, it's best to make sure that they won't wobble or go awry when we dock things to it. So just attach struts everywhere you can because this is going to be the main part. This is going to have most of the stress every time we dock some new module on here. Now that is done, all we have to do is build a launcher. Okay, because of the clock on the bottom, there's no attachment points to it. Rotate it upside down. That way you can launch it upside down, but it's the only way you can do it. You can figure out another way of doing it. But this is the best option I have found. Right, now I'm going to have to build a, spur, a probe to dock it to the asteroid. Okay, so we'll use the large probe. And just a standard setup, a large tank, the poodle engine, some RCS thrusters. Eight of them would do, and some RCS tanks. Right, that now that is done, we have to make sure that the center of mass is. We got the RCS with the center of mass in mind, so place them at equal distance from the center of mass. And hey, presto, those RCS thrusters will work when we're doing our translation to get it to dock to the asteroid. Now it's just the launcher. Oh yes, a quick note by here. I'm building a large fairing around this. It would have been in the foresight to build the fairing a little higher on this. As the larger the fairing, the more aerodynamically and the sound it could be. In other words, the fairing is going to be a lot heavier. The top of the rocket's going to be a bit heavier. And I had a couple of flip outs with this design. Okay, with the launcher I use the orange tanks and I set up an asparagus staging using the similar orange tanks on the side. So 
I, if you're doing asparagus staging with four rockets, I suggest you do two of them for a set symmetry to two. So you can then copy, after you've built one stage, you can copy them and set the other stage on the other side of the rocket. And um, by the way, I'm using the mainsail engines as I found that the the skipper engines were not enough thrust. Now, a handy tip here. Since we copied them in stage four, if you create another stage four and after copying the part, attach it to the rocket, they'll go into stage four. However, by here, when I was setting up the fuel lines, I messed it up. I set them in the wrong stage. Oh yes, and don't forget to add the reaction wheel to the rocket as that helps with the launch. Right, now and also some winglets. And try not to mess up the fuel lines by here. That sometimes happens to me. I need four winglets, no not three, I need four, that's better. Right, this in all intents and purposes is almost ready for launch. Just add some more struts because rocket wobble is the big rocket killer. If you can't add struts to the between stages, add some oct octangle little struts if we can get it out, and put struts between them. And also talking about wobbly rockets, I find it fails by here in my design. You may want to redes redesign this with a larger launch stage, and that work probably would work much better than this. However, we're ready for launch, and oh dear, the nab ball is upside down. So to remedy that to this design, right click on the claw, control from here, and the nav the right way up. It may be rotated 180 degrees around, but that's okay, I can handle that. Hopefully you can as well. Right, if you want to learn how to line up orbits for high inclination orbits, then have a look at part one and part two of this tutorial series that show you how to line it up like I just did there. And then it's launch. Okay, be careful here, as I said, this was quite wobbly and I almost, I lost it three times during the testing phase. This is the good attempt, <laughs> as each test is when it fails. <laughs> but after you're out of the thickest part of the atmosphere, this rocket becomes quite stable and quite easy to control. In fact, this rocket gets to space quite quickly, as can seen in its fast forwarded video. <laughs> Right, if you got your launch window at the correct time, you should have your ascendant descending node at the precise moment you get to your apoplapsis. So during that, do your orbit burn with your inclination change to get that inclination down to as, or as close to zero as you can. Because if you don't, then it uses a lot more fuel to do an inclination change while you're in orbit. So nice little handy tip there. Okay, now once we get into orbit, or at least at the moment, I'm going to dump the orange tanks because I want them to send back down to Kirby while we get into orbit. Okay, now we're in orbit, we can set up a maneuver node. Alright, you can see the uh, satellite, is, which is the asteroid. We're going to set up a, an encounter as close as possible. Now this can take a bit of fiddling and is a bit awkward if you have an orbit which is not circular as you have to change the position of the maneuver node and then change the thrust by using the prograde and retrograde markers. It does take a bit of time but it can be rewarding if you take your time and get as close as possible. Now on a large orbit like this, you can get to about 200 kilometers and then get your closest, then you can use that and get as close as you can thrusting towards it and killing your velocity multiple times. And then once you've done that, you'll arrive at the asteroid. Don't forget to burn into the same speed or cancel your speed or th with <laughs> in relation to the asteroid as I skipped that bit by here, as I didn't record it. However, the main thing of this tutorial is to attach this and then build a base. And we're almost done. Once we've attached this, I can show you some quick, simple builds that'll help improve your asteroid and improve your base. 
Okay, when you come to the asteroid, since I've got the solar panels on the nice smooth part of the asteroid, the front, you'll have to attach it somewhere sensible. And I want to do some clever thing with this asteroid, which I'll show you in a minute after I've targeted the asteroid's center of mass, because we're heading for the probe core on the side of the asteroid. I'm going to try and set dock this to the side that I'm pointing at now. It's sort of like a corner in which we can wrap a base around and I'll show you how to do that soon. But first off we'll have to attach this. Now I wish there was some kind of indicator on where you're going to hit this asteroid and how far away you are from the surface because this is quite tricky. I think it's difficult due to the textures of the asteroid, but I suppose you could add light to this craft to shine down on the asteroid, and if you use four of them you can tell how far away or how close you are getting. Okay, now that I've lined it to the corner, let's go in slowly, you don't want to go in too fast and smash the asteroid. Let's point it as close to the asteroid as we can, and hey presto, we have attached, we have attached the first part of our base asteroid. Now let's decouple the probe from it, send that retrograde in the orbit and it's pointing at the asteroid, let's get it out of the way, we don't want to smash the asteroid. And then we can deorbit this. Now I will meet you in the VAP where I'll show you how to build the next module. Okay so now that we've attached the multi-port docking node base thingy majiggy to the asteroid we can now add our own creativity you know you can do anything but what i'm going to do is add a science bay to this however i'm going to do a slight difference to this what i want to do is add a soldier joint to it and we'll get to why <laughs> soon okay i'll attach another tank to the side empty the fuel from both tanks make sure it's 90 degrees Again, offset the tank so that it's pointing 90 degrees to the other one. And this time, you can see we're causing, creating a joint sideways. Now, I was going to put it a bit further to the side, but the weight would cause this to be unstable to launch. And that's something you have to think of when you're doing these offsets. Is how well you launch it, will you be able to get it into or it is the weight going to be on one side is it going to be unstable but another skip in the video because you've seen the launch you've seen the rendezvous and now it's time to dock a tip for docking be as far as away as from the port as you can and line up straight with it as soon as possible you can see i've stopped going forward slightly here i'm trying to align with the port Try and or orientate the craft in a general direction. I have not got the mod. There is a docking alignment mod in this game. Uh, for this game, not in the game. It's something you have to add, which I pretty like using. I pretty like using it. I, my, I pretty well damn like using <laughs> Anyway, once we've lined up, getting slowly, you can use the program marker Hover over the target because you should have the docking node targeted. Okay, let's attach this slowly. And if you can see in the docking port there, the other docking port, I've got it pointing down towards the asteroid. And that's for good reason, but we'll get to that in a moment. Let's get rid of this probe and dock the next module. Now, we're not showing you the builds, I'm hoping that you can add your own creativity to this. Because this time I want to attach some beds. Yes, our cribbles need somewhere to sleep. So I've used the hitchhiker pots, fitted them with zero G beds, because that's what you need in an asteroid base. Because there won't be enough gravity on an asteroid to tell you the truth, not on this size. Again, come at a distance so that you can align the, the docking nodes in a timely manner. Because I have perfected the art of coming in at an angle for docking, but this is the most proficient 
it means that you will attach it. You will get a good docking. And attached. Yes, cool. Doesn't this base look cool already? Okay, let's get rid of this probe again. And then I can show you my piece de resistance. And sure it is. And no, it is not a submarine. That claw is in fact going to attach the asteroid and stabilize the base. Okay, what I've done here is I've attached the claw to an empty fuel tank, it's long, long spindly one. You might think it'll be unbalanced, but what I did, I add a smaller tank on the top of that, on the top of that thin tank, and I filled it with enough fuel, the smaller tank, to balance the center of mass correctly. Now, hopefully you understood that. But the trick here is to attach the docking node and then attach the claw to the asteroid. I think you have to do it in that order, otherwise they'll want dock to the space station or dock to the base correctly. So you'll have to do this slowly and ginger gingerly, as I have for here. Okay, very slowly, attach, and you can see that at an angle which is causing problems with the docking node. I decide let's arm this because perhaps we can do this two at the same time. And have we worked? Has it worked? No, it has not. So what we're going to have to do is detach this from the asteroid again. And what I do, I free the pivot of the other part of the base. Because what we can do is move that off slightly. Only slightly for them, it seems, at the moment. Detach either side. And luckily the docking post are close enough to attach. Now, that I'll release that claw, the other claw again and try to maneuver it until the other claw touches the asteroid. Now, you won't get a camera train change. Change? You won't get a camera change once it's attached. Because I was trying to rotate here, waiting for it to attach. And it was already attached. So that's something you have to look out for. Anyway, let's get rid of that probe core. And then we can marvel at the base. Yes, I was having problems with the right click. In the belly. So guys, this is going to be it for my building an asteroid base tutorial. You can add what you want to yours and... Have fun in any ways you can. I'm going to stop this tutorial because that asteroid was getting quite laggy. And perhaps I could do something similar on my KSP server or perhaps in another game. Anyway, I'm going to ask you, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And I'll be doing more videos if you want to subscribe. And at the moment, all you can do is watch my base. Well, I say things like, I'm more beta. Trust me, I'm an engineer. <laughs>